Bonjour et bienvenue à French Tweets. Today I'll be talking about some particulars about the ETEF examination which has been taking place all these days in different cities across the world. So basically as you enter the test center all they ask first is your passport and you're supposed to make some signatures wherever it is needed. The first module that happens is the oral exam which is your expression oral expression oral that is the oral exam it comprises of two sections section a and section b before each section you are given a minute to look at the document and prepare yourself so for section a you are supposed to ask une dizaine de questions that is over 10 questions and you are given a minute to look at the situation which has been uh, given to you it is normally a formal situation and you have to prepare over 10 questions mind it you're not given any pen or paper to even write the points so it is basically une situation sur place so all you have to do is decide at the moment then is your section b wherein you have to present the document and you have to convince your friend to do an activity or to pursue a particular training. Again, you're given a minute and you are not given any pen or a paper to even write the essential points. So you have to be quite active in your approach while performing these two exercises. For the section A, you have to check whether you are addressing the examiner in a formal way or not. If you are not doing it, you will be taxed there. So, because it's a formal situation, you have to address the examiner using VU. And section B is in an informal situation wherein you have to address the examiner using TU. Now in your expression oral, that is your oral examination, to get a significant level that is B2 you should get a score somewhere between 310 to 348 right after your oral examination uh, you have your reading part that is comprehension écrit so in here you're supposed to do 50 MCQs which are spread across 64 screens so do not get confused because there are 50 questions and 64 screens the best part is you do have the opportunity to revisit the questions in case you have a doubt in the previous attempts and to get a significant B2 level you should get a score between 207 to 232 which means you should have 38 to 40 questions correct out of 50 in all and each question carries 6 points right after the reading part is your listening test which is comprehension oral wherein you have 60 questions and you've got 40 minutes to do these and each question carries six points each and in order to get a significant score of b2 and c1 you should have 46 to 47 questions correct and you should be able to achieve 249 to 279 out of the total score And unlike the reading test, you do not have any opportunity to revisit the previous questions. Though these all are in MCQ formats, but you do not get a second attempt or to revisit any of the pages earlier. The last part is the writing part, that is production écrit, wherein you get an hour to do two tasks. First is a fait divers, that is an article writing which you've got to complete in 80 words and the second part is a letter writing wherein you have to present your three arguments so you have to work 
in such a way that you are able to complete both the tasks under one hour. Also try to complete it before 10 minutes so you've got some time to revise once what you've written. And in order to get a significant B2 or above, you should be able to get 310 to 348 plus points. You can refer to French Tweets channel uh, TEF playlist which will help you to discover various mock tests on TEF and other study material. Also check out the membership plan wherein you will find exclusive TEF material for the French Tweets members and there are various section A and section B that are the writing parts of the TEF Canada examination. So in there you will find a lot of sample exercises with corrections. Do share what you discover with French tweets and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Merci pour regarder cette vidéo. À la prochaine.